Welcome back everyone. Starting this video, let's take a look at some advanced routing concepts in Next.js. In this specific video, we will learn what parallel routes are, how to define them, and the benefits they offer when creating dynamic and complex user interfaces. Parallel routes are an advanced routing mechanism that allows for the simultaneous rendering of multiple pages within the same layout. For scenario seven, consider the challenge of building a complex dashboard for a web application. Such a dashboard might need to display various views like user analytics, revenue metrics, and notifications all at once. Traditionally, we would create components for each section and arrange them in the layout.tsx file within an app slash dashboard folder. Since we already have a dashboard folder from before, let's create a new one called complex dashboard. So within the app folder, complex dashboard. Here, define a new layout.tsx file. Using regular components, the code might look like this. We have the three components corresponding to the three sections in the dashboard, and we invoke the components in the JSX. In the setup, the layout automatically receives the default component exported from app slash complex dashboard slash page.tsx as the children prop, which is then rendered within the layout. For simplicity, let's assume page.tsx renders just a title complex dashboard. So create page.tsx within the folder and default export a component complex dashboard page, which returns an h1 with the text complex dashboard. Each of the other components, user analytics, revenue metrics, and notifications, which we are not going to define now, represents a specific section of the dashboard, such as a cart with the necessary data rendered inside. While this traditional approach of component composition is effective, using parallel routes can achieve the same outcome with additional benefits. So how do we define parallel routes in Next.js? Parallel routes in Next.js are defined using a feature known as slots. Slots help structure our content in a modular fashion. To define a slot, we use the at folder naming convention. Each slot is then automatically passed as a prop to its corresponding layout.tsx file. In the context of our dashboard example, we would define three distinct slots within the dashboard folder. At users for the user analytics section, at revenue for the revenue metrics section, and at notifications for the notifications section. Let's go back to VS Code and define the page.tsx files in each of these slots. Within the complex dashboard folder, create a new folder, add notifications, and within the folder, create page.tsx. Within the file, we default export a simple React component. Similarly, within the complex dashboard folder, create at revenue within the folder page.tsx and once again a simple react component finally create at users folder page.tsx and once again a simple react component default exported we have created three slots within our complex dashboard folder. Now each slot is automatically passed to the layout.tsx file component as a prop, which we can then use to structure the dashboard page. We will remove the three imports, the invoked components, and instead destructure users for the users slot, Revenue for the revenue slot and notifications for the notifications slot. 
Let's also make sure TypeScript is happy. Now for the JSX, I'm going to paste the code with some inline styles to match the layout from our slide. You can find this code on my GitHub repo, but you can see here we have the children prop, users prop, revenue prop, and notifications prop. I will also create a card component to wrap each of the three slots we have just created. In the source folder, create a new components folder with a card.tsx file. Here, define a simple card component. I'm going to paste the code to save us some time. Component name is called card, which we default export. We have defined some card styles, which we have applied to a div element, and this div element wraps the children props. Really simple card component. We will then replace the div tag with this card component in each of the slots. Set notifications page.tsx. Use the card component instead of the div tag. You can see here the component is automatically imported with the help of VS Code. So in revenue page.tsx, card component, and finally users page.tsx, card component. Now it is important to note that the slots, users, revenue, and notifications are available as props and we don't have to import them. In the browser, when we navigate to localhost 3000 slash complex dashboard, we should see our dashboard route with the text complex dashboard and the three slots, user analytics, revenue metrics, and notifications. It is also important to note that slots are not route segments and do not affect the URL structure. If you navigate to complex dashboard slash users or at users, we don't see the user analytics page. Instead, we have 404 page not found. What you should also know is that the children prop is equivalent to complex dashboard at children slot slash page.tsx. So technically, we have four slots in our layout.tsx file. But what is the benefit of building our user interface with parallel routes? A clear benefit of parallel routes is their ability to split a single layout into various slots, making the code more manageable. This is particularly advantageous when different teams work on various sections of the page. Of course, this is the same with the traditional component composition approach as well. The true benefit of parallel routes lies in their capacity for independent route handling and sub-navigation. Let's take a closer look at these two. One of the most compelling features of parallel routes is the ability to handle each route independently. This means that each slot of your layout, such as user analytics or revenue metrics, can have its own loading and error states. This granular control is particularly beneficial in scenarios where different sections of the page load at varying speeds or encounter unique errors. For instance, if the user analytics data takes longer to load, you can display a loading spinner specifically for that section, while other parts of the dashboard remain interactive. Similarly, if there is an error in fetching revenue metrics, you can show an error message in that specific section without affecting the rest of the dashboard. This level of detail in handling states not only improves the user experience, but also simplifies debugging and maintenance. Another significant advantage of using parallel routes is their capability to offer a seamless sub-navigation experience within each parallel route. Each slot of your dashboard can essentially function as a mini application, complete with its own navigation and state management. This is especially useful in a complex application such as our dashboard, where different sections serve distinct purposes. Imagine each section of your dashboard, be it user analytics, 
revenue metrics or notifications operating as a standalone entity. Users can interact with each section independently, applying filters, sorting data, or navigating through pages without affecting the state or display of other sections. For instance, in the notifications section, users can switch to an archived view from the default view. This interaction allows them to view past notifications that are no longer in the main feed. The ability to toggle between default and archive views and the interactions within each are confined to the notification section alone. The URL in the address bar updates to reflect the current view, ensuring that the link is always shareable and helps the users know where they're on the site. This approach allows for a more dynamic and interactive user experience as users can navigate through different parts of the application without unnecessary page reloads or layout shifts. To summarize, parallel routes allow simultaneous rendering of different pages within the same layout. Parallel routes are defined using slots. Slots organize content in a modular fashion, making code more manageable. Parallel routes not only simplify code management, but also enhance user experience with independent route handling and subnavigation. But when it comes to subnavigation within parallel routes, there is a very important concept to understand. Let's see what that is in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.